Hello everyone, welcome to Top 10 Character Moments. Today we're breaking down my list for the Top 10 Best Tony Stark aka Iron Man Moments. Be sure to tune in every Friday to watch my latest Top 10 video. In each video, I will break down my list for a specific character's best moments and why I like them so much. Just remember this is my personal list, so you don't have to agree with it, but I ask you respect my opinions as I will respect yours. Now for those who don't know, I'm Ryan Brower. I run another YouTube channel called Sector for Nerds. So I ask not only you subscribe to this channel, but also Sector for Nerds as it would really mean a lot to me. Thanks guys. I've had a mixed relationship with good old Tony Stark. There were movies where I liked him and others where I didn't. But the good thing about this channel and these videos is I like to focus on the positives and not the negatives. So with that being said, let's get into some honorable mentions. First up, I am Iron Man. I mean, probably the most iconic Tony Stark quote. It may or may not be a part of one of his best moments on my list. We'll see. Defeating Whiplash. Give the assist to Rhodey putting their suit powers together, and kaboom. And finally, playing paper football with Nebula. Didn't think this would be the first thing we'd see Tony Stark doing after half of the universe just got wiped out, but hey, gotta have some fun where you can, I guess. It was genuinely a very nice scene. All right, you guys, let's get into the top 10 list itself. Here we go. At number 10, creating his first suit, and he did it in a cave. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. It's such an iconic thing. Gotta be on the list. At number nine, his message to Pepper in Avengers Endgame. This was a very touching and also a very heartbreaking moment given both characters' fates were uncertain at the time. Tony puts it all out there. He updates her on his progress, or lack thereof, and admits he was hoping to pull off one last surprise. Though how many times have we seen Iron Man quote unquote retire, and then by the next film he's back in the fight? Pepper even alludes to this later when she tells Tony, getting you to stop has been one of the few failures in my life. I'm trying to get you to stop has been one of the few failures of my entire life. At number eight, giving Cap his shield back. One of the more honorable things Tony has done in my opinion, especially since the last time there was talk about the shield, Tony said Cap didn't deserve the shield and that it belonged to his father. But fast forward a bunch of years later, Tony has moved past old grievances and gives it back to its rightful owner. At number seven, the conversation with his father in Endgame. When the Avengers all travel back in time, Tony has a confrontation with his father. His father believed this was a visitor from MIT. It's such a weird conversation in the sense that Tony's father is seeking advice from Tony on how to be a father. And Tony, having been a father for a few years at this point, was able to give him some advice. It was a very tough touching moment. I found it funny when Tony hugged his father and said thank you, and then has to follow it up with for everything you've done for this country. At number six, you want my property, you can't have it. I love this scene so much. Iron Man 2 was an okay movie in my opinion, but this scene is one of the only ones I actually enjoy talking about. So basically, the government is trying to get access to Tony Stark's Iron Man stuff. They even displayed photos of Iron Man suits being assembled by other countries, but when you look more in depth like Tony did, the suits weren't even close to being ready. Most of them would probably take take 10, 15 years, and Hammer Industries would take 20. And then Tony has this killer bit of dialogue to end this meeting. He says, you want my property? You can't have it, but I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world peace. <laughs> what more do you want? For now. I tried to play ball with these ass clowns. you, Mr. Stark. F you, buddy. We're adjourned. We're adjourned for the day. Okay. Between you want my property, you can't have it, and I tried to play ball with these ass clowns might be the single greatest bits of dialogue I've ever heard Tony Stark say besides I am Iron Man. At number five, creating Vision. Earlier on in the movie Avengers Age of Ultron, Tony created the monster known as Ultron. Big mistake. But he ended up making up for it with Vision. Even in the moment, I was hesitant about it because Tony created one monster so he could very well create another. But I think this time Tony's head was much more clear. He knew what he was doing. Also, if Thor was on board with this, Tony must have been onto something, especially since Thor was going to destroy him earlier in the movie after creating Ultron. At number four, defeating Hulk with the Hulkbuster suit, also known as Veronica. This was a crazy scene of two big dogs going at it. 
I love the idea behind the Hulkbuster suit, as it's a way to combat the powers of the Incredible Hulk. And with Iron Man inside the suit, it's like putting the brains and bronze together, hence why he won. At number 3, taking the nuke into space. I think Tony knew there was a good chance that he wasn't going to survive this experience. Luckily, he did survive. But regardless, he was willing to save millions of lives at the risk of his own. That's a true hero right there. At number 2, figuring out how to time travel. He may only be a genius on Earth, but he's still a genius nonetheless. Tony is the reason that the time heist was able to happen. Without his efforts, it wouldn't have worked. At number 1, defeating Thanos slash his sacrifice. While Iron Man may not be my favorite superhero in the MCU, this might be my favorite MCU moment of all time. I remember being on the edge of my seat when Thanos destroyed the portal to get the stones away. I was thinking, oh no, not again. Don't let him near that gauntlet. The Avengers kept trying but were failing to take the Mad Titan down. But when Doctor Strange looked at Iron Man and put up one finger, referring to the fact that there was only one way in 14 million outcomes where the Avengers will win, I knew something bad was going to happen to Iron Man. But little did I expect it would be done in such a badass way. Iron Man grabbed the gauntlet and then gets knocked down by Thanos. And in my head I'm thinking, okay, surely he grabbed at least one stone, right? Nope. He got all of them. And then Tony, who had built a gauntlet of his own inside his suit, takes the stones and says that iconic line that really started everything in the MCU. I am Iron Man. And then snaps his fingers. Like I said, not just my favorite Tony Stark moment, but my favorite moment in the MCU. Given the power of the stones were too much, it killed Tony. Again, with the whole sacrifice thing. Willing to risk his life to save others. A true hero. I love the message he recorded as well before the time heist, like he knew something bad could happen. Part of the journey is the end. The end of the path Tony started the Avengers on. The Infinity Saga started with Iron Man in 2008, and ended with his sacrifice in Endgame over a decade later. So there you have it guys, that's my list for the top 10 Tony Stark moments. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Iron Man moments are and why. Also, stay tuned every Friday for a new episode of Top 10 Character Moments. Next week, I'll be breaking down my picks for the top 10 best moments of Grand Master Yoda. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. I have successfully privatized world peace. What more do you want? For now! I tried to play ball with these ass clowns. F*** you, Mr. Stark. Thank you, buddy. We're adjourned. We're adjourned for the day. Okay.